Okay, this is part two of my 2007 movie collection Decepticons. And here I am taking a look at the uh, oversized version of Megatron. I think this is by Black Mamba LS03 or something. And I have to tell you, this, this is awesome. I have the original and the KO by Honey Badger, I think, but they have like loose joints and stuff. But this one, all these joints and ratchets, they, they've been well made. This has die cast. This is really an awesome figure. And uh, but I want to point out, unfortunately, this came with batteries uh, already burnt out. Um, I think this is LR41, in case you want to know. You have to unscrew that and then separate both sides and then you can get access to the uh, battery compartment. But this, I'm not going to get all into it because it's not a review of this figure. But this, all you have to do is just look. I mean this premium uh, silver finish. This just looks so awesome and it fits in very well with the oversized um, Starscream MPM oversi oversized MPM Starscream. I don't know if this one has lights um, but uh, I think I shared my thoughts on lights. It just you don't really need it. Uh, you should just paint them so that you know they're metallic uh, red. But look at that. I mean, it just looks really nice together, and scale-wise, they fit better. And they fit in with these other ones. This is the Weijing, I think, blackout, which is bigger than the official one that's coming out so it fits in better with the rest of these that's what I really love about this is that these are just so well made with all the details and um, the scale it fits in perfectly and these actually fit in with the masterpiece oversized Autobots so I have one collection that's really complete so back to uh, the blackout. I mean, look at this. This is just, this is so cool. And these, you know, like the Autobots, they're gonna stay in the robot mode. Um, I mean, look at, look at how well these third party, you know, put all this paint detail and, die cast it just makes it look so much better I want to point out there was something I'm confused this is the Scorponok that came with it but since this is all, all oversized you know that's why I use the original um, Scorponok which kind of looks cool and I don't know I mean I think I think he is a little bit too big I just I just don't know which one to keep here, but I have both there for now. And then this uh, Bone Crusher. <laughs> I'm so glad I got this because they never made an official leader size. This one does have lights also. I just don't know how to... Well, actually, I know it's in the back somewhere, but it does look cool with the lights. But just uh, look at all that detail this just looks so nice with all the rest of them and then this is the official uh, barricade because the KO I didn't like how they painted the blue purple it's not cartoon accurate um, so this is the barricade which did not come with a frenzy 
that's why I'm using the Frenzy from the Human Alliance, which I think uh, fits in very well. And I think that's, I mean, you just look at the scale. I always talk about scale. And look at, I mean, if Spike was a little bit taller than him, which is, you know, the way he should be. But I did end up getting the DNA upgrade set, which, huh, yeah, I, I put the upgrade sets to the official masterpiece so you can articulate the arms on the official masterpiece uh, star screen. But this one, you know, it looks really cool, but see, it's too big. And Spike and Michaela are taller than Frenzy, so you can see, yeah, the scale's off. So it looks like it really does need to be the Frenzy from the Human Alliance. And then last is the Brawl. <laughs> this is another awesome figure all you have to do is just look at all the detail this is the pride that third party companies make into making some of their toys this has no lights on the eyes but um, yeah I'm making this video just to appreciate this collection and to have reference of what I have so my friends can refer to my collection you know for when that time comes um, but yeah this is uh, my 2007 movie masterpiece Decepticons and now we will move over to the originals which this one has some issues. So, let me um, first point out that um, you don't have all of the characters. I don't know how I can lock this. This is really hard to lock this. I don't know how to. I don't know how to lock it in place. Okay. So you don't have all of the characters in the proper scale. Specifically, you don't have Blackout and Bone Crusher. So what you do have, I mean, you have to kind of appreciate. So start out with the premium series uh, barricade premium so you can see the paint on here looks much better than the official retail police the frosted windows and the way that police sign is painted and it fits in really well with um, the Autobots in alt mode and here's where problems start happening here's a frenzy which is a cool gimmick how you can transform it and it fits inside the front of the car but the scale is just way too big um, which is actually why um, I had you had to kind of mix and match things so I had to get that uh, battle scenes pack to get a smaller frenzy so this is a little bit more scale proportionate than uh, the frenzy that comes with this barricade premium series barricade and then next what um this actually came later this is the Takata version of um, Revenge of the Fallen Starscream <laughs> so yeah this comes after uh, the second movie but this is really cool I mean really cool meaning they painted it so that it looks like the first movie Starscream it's really cool how 
You have all these light and sound features. No one can defeat Starscream. So it fits in here. And then there was the premium series uh, Megatron. And this was a pain to transform into alt mode because you have no idea what you're trying to transform it into. But, you know, I finally got it and um, I don't know where the uh, light... Oh. And it does have different sounds when you transform him into robot mode, which I am not going to because these all stay in the alt mode. And then the Scorponok, which uh, this is too big, obviously, but um, you know, I'm still trying to figure out where that goes. I actually have two of them. And then the Brawl. This was a liter size. This is really cool. And then this feature here. I forgot how this works. I how this works. <laughs> this is really a cool toy. But like I said, there is no um, barricade in this leader size. There is no uh, bone crusher in this size also. So that's why to get all the characters I had to get the Voyager size. So here is the uh, premium version of Blackout. I'm not sure what actually makes them premium because I think the official retail, the colors look much better. And then there is a more appropriate scale uh, Scorponok. I mean, that can actually fit in better here, sort of. Or actually, um, even the Legends Scorponok probably fits in better. You, know, you pick and choose which Scorponok here. Uh, but back, back to the Voyager size, here's the Black Owl, which is very disappointing that they did not make in a liter size. And then the same with the Bone Crusher, very disappointing that they did not make this in liter size. Because that just makes this collection incomplete. But to have it complete, you have to get Voyager size. So this is the Best Buy exclusive uh, Megatron with the ice on him. And then the Target exclusive Starscream, which I really like because of the silver uh, finish on it. Really nice. Better than the brown color retail version. And then the Deluxe uh, Brawl, which, you know, it's cool. Um, but yeah, that's a, uh, and then you have to, oh, there is no um, barricade, so I had to also, to try to get this all complete, I had to use the Legends version of Barricade and the uh, Frenzy from the Battle Scenes pack to have a uh, complete set in this Voyager scale so this is where you know this the Decepticon collection is just all thrown off and then uh, since putting the legends back uh, I'm not gonna say too much other than these are just legends they are what they are um, let's 
see if I can get him to stand. So, you know, I have, <laughs> and then again, you don't have a frenzy. So, this is the legends. So you have a Megatron, the Starscream, the Brawl. This is really a cool Legends figure, which had to come in a two pack. And this one also is a cool Legends figure of uh, Bone Crusher, which comes in a two pack. And Blackout. There's a better version that came with the Dark of the Moon, but it's uh, too big. And this was really cool, this Scorponok that also came in a two-pack, which actually transforms, even though he doesn't transform in the movie. But this, I mean, just look at it, it looks really nice. And then this uh, Legend Scale um, Barricade with the uh, Frenzy from the uh, Battle Scenes pack. <laughs> So, you know, it's not perfect. The um, leader size is incomplete with no uh, bear, leader bear uh, blackout and bone crusher. Then here's the Voyager size, which... Uh, but then there is the Studio Series. So this is complete and it's really cool. So you have, this is the, I don't know, this is a, another number, but this is the better paint finish Megatron. Cause they had the original, which was like gray. And then they had a different number, which was all silver. So this is really cool. The Studio series Megatron. The Studio Series uh, Starscream, and then uh, the Studio Series uh, Barricade, really cool, and then the Studio Series Brawl, really cool, um, Studio Series Bone Crusher, really cool and then studio series blackout with the DNA upgrade set so this makes this figure look much better so if you're gonna have a 2007 Decepticon collection it really needs to be the studio series but also what's missing is frenzy so he goes all over the place. He's a. Uh, this is from the battle scenes, and it fits in perfectly here. So, this Studio Series collection is complete. You know, I'm just going to share. Very interesting how there's more Decepticons <laughs> than there are Autobots, which is really weird because that's not how it is in the original G1 cartoon. But anyways, that's that. So this is my collection of the 2007 movie uh, Decepticons. And I think I will finish with uh, the best part of the collection, which is the oversized masterpiece. And I do want to point out, I do have the original, the KO original, which is a little bit smaller scale. Um, but this, this set is definitely much better. So yeah, that's it. Not sure which Scorpionock to use. I'm most likely going to have to keep the uh, um, Human Alliance frenzy. So.